Hey guys, today is Tuesday, August 2nd, and I am officially three years on testosterone. I know usually I say how many days I am post-op, uh, but today marks three years on testosterone. Uh, last week on the 29th, I hit my three-month post-op phalloplasty. Um, so even though today is my three years on testosterone mark, um, I'm not gonna do a video specifically on that. I'm gonna do that later this week. Um, today, I actually did go to the Crane Center and had an appointment with their new uh, reconstructive urologist. Um, his name is Dr. Jin. Um, I met with him today and we spoke about a couple of the issues I had with urinating. Um, he told me that because I'm only three months post-op, that he can't really do anything about the issues that I'm having, but he did give me a couple of suggestions on what I could do to help improve my urination. Um, and then we'll go on from there. I did make another appointment for uh, three more months out. So at that time, I will be six months post-op. Um, and at that time, that's when they usually recommend going in for a second surgery if needed. Um, so he said, if I do still have these issues at that six month mark um, during my next appointment, um, then he would take me in um, to do a, a further checkup in the operating room, um, whether that's intensive x-rays or um, so putting in some dye or a camera through my urethra. So we'll get to that point in about three more months. Um, another thing I talked to him about was a little infection that I kind of have near the base of my phallus. Um, I'll show you guys a picture. Um, but basically there was, there was this little area of separation towards the base. Um, it wasn't deep at all, just on the surface. Um, but I guess I had hair stuck in it, so it wasn't closing all the way when it was trying to heal. So what he did was he pulled the hair out, um, trimmed it, um, and then just stuffed the gauze in it. He told me to change that every day and put some Neosporin on it. So hopefully that will help the wound to heal um, and then stop any further infections from happening. Um, this did happen about a month ago, but it cleared up within a couple of days with just Neosporin. The one that's happening now, it's been around for about a week and a half. Um, so that's why I brought it to the doctor's attention because it wasn't going on away on its own. Um, and I guess it was because the hair was growing um, within the area of the separation, causing it not to close. As far as my issues with urinating, I have noticed that over the past couple of days, I have been drinking more fluids like water and cranberry juice. And it's helped me um, urinate more. My stream has been stronger and there has been less dribble, um, allowing me to empty my bladder within a short amount of time. Previously, it took me about maybe 10 minutes to go to the bathroom. Now, it's taking me about five to six um, minutes on average, which is a lot better. Still a lot longer than I want, um, but definitely a lot better than it was previously, so I'm happy about that. Another thing he told me to try um, was to kind of lean over when going to the bathroom using the urinal um, and then my phallus. So he wants me to lean more like this way and then hold my phallus out like this. Um, instead of when I was standing straight up and then holding my phallus down. Um, that is because the new urethra already has like a 90 degree turn um, and then holding your phallus down just adds another 90 degree turn. So it goes like this. Um, so he told me to um, try the new stance when urinating. I did do that um, and it did come out a lot better, which is great. Um, there was still a little bit of dribble at the end, but again, um, I was able to use the restroom in about five minutes instead of that 10 minutes. So I'm happy about that. I will continue to do that to see if there's um, any progress over the next three months. Um, and if it's good, then I probably won't go to that appointment. Um, but if not, then I'll see what he has to say. He did say that he thinks it's the um, beginning of a stricture um, causing the various various issues that I've had when urinating. Um, I did have pain when urinating. I did have two times where I couldn't urinate at all. I ended up having to taking, I ended up having to take um, over the counter Azo, which helped me go to the bathroom. So he believes that it is a stricture. Um, but like I said, he's not, he's not for sure. Since I'm only three months post-op, my, my phallus hasn't fully healed. So he needs to um, allow that extra three months to, to see what's actually going on once my phallus is fully healed around the six month mark. Like I mentioned before, I have been talking to a lot of trans guys who have the same kind of issues when it comes to urination. Um, they've gotten various diagnoses from the doctor, um, whether that's a stricture, UTIs, or even kidney stones, uh, which has caused them to have issues urinating with the dribbles and the, the slow stream. It's kind of it's kind of hard to take what the doctor says and, and kind of believe that's what it is, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and believe what he says that it's the forming of a stricture and just allow more time. Um, I'm not so worried about it since I kind of figured out how to better use the bathroom and not 
taking 10 minutes so i'm happy about that um, i just kind of wish it didn't take that long because it is kind of a pain um, but if you're going through the same kind of complications or symptoms that i am when going to the bathroom just try to remember to um, keep a lot of fluids inside of you having a full bladder helps helps me pee a lot easier um, so i would just recommend doing that um, like I mentioned in a previous video, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, I'm currently at 596 subscribers, so I only have about 404 to go. Um, and when I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. I will be picking four winners and I will be giving away uh, gift certificates or gift cards. I haven't decided what they are going to be yet, um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that's what it's going to be. And like I said, um, I did hit my three-year three, three year mark on testosterone today, so I will be doing a video later in the week about all the changes I've had since the beginning um, three years ago. I wanted to thank you guys for watching and coming to my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. My Instagram handle is in the description below and also my link to my Patreon if you want to see pre- and post-op pictures and videos. On there, I do have exclusive content only on there, nowhere else on social media, um, as well as other text posts and stuff like that. So again, thank you guys for watching. I'll check with you guys later this week.